Welcome back to Metro Gamer 77's Apprentice, this time with more Lego Hero Factory slash Bionicle Mocks. Yippee, this is what everybody wanted. I swear. I actually don't know, but like, whatever. So, in Bionicle 2016, there, each element had a Toa, in this case fire, my own version, and a creature, in this case a bat. I swear, it's a bat. I'm serious, it's a bat. I swear, totally not a hawk, eagle thing. It's a bat. I swear. Anyways, um, so just like the 2016 sets, they do combine. Sadly, I don't have the. I think his name is Akira's his headpiece, so I can't have the headdress. And also, it just wouldn't work with this headpiece, which I really love this headpiece. But they still do combine. Um, this guy actually has a gimmick, like the, like a gear function. It's pretty terrible, but like, whatever. Okay, we'll look at him later. By the way, I made this little thing so he can hang upside down and fold over his wings like a bat, I think. Well, there he. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. So, the main. Hey, okay, the main reason I built him was to incorporate these Bionicle pieces, and also I have another mock in this video, which I actually, I actually, I'm not, I might do it in a separate video, it depends on how this video plays out, but, um, it's really big, so I couldn't fit it, <laughs> so, he also uses Bionicle piece. He uses literally one Bionicle piece, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Wait, no, I think he uses one, two, he uses like four. That's it. And this guy uses two, which are his shoulder pads. And I really wanted to incorporate these as shoulder pads. And at first I was going to make this old fancy old custom limb. And I'll show you how that played out. I was going to make a custom upper arm. But for now, let's take a look at his legs. His feet are custom. Well, not custom. His feet are custom i just took these pieces and put them there he has like hands for heels it looks okay and he has so his main colors are trans orange um and then gold um silver slash gray silver slash gray silver or gray um and obviously red um so over here, his feet are silver. Um, he has some gold right here. Alright, so his leg, so the proportions look a bit off just because, so because I'm terrible at designing stuff, when the creature unites with him, it's such a big backpack. It's just massive. And so, he, he, just to stand, he needs these friction, ex fr friction extenders in his thighs. And also just to stand now, just because of the way his feet are, they're kind of weird, so he needs to bend his knees a bit. So the legs, the upper legs look, like his thighs look really tall, or long, tall is not the right word to say. <laughs> his upper thighs look really long, okay? Um, over here, he has his arms, and then these spikes on his arms, you could use these as spikes, but these are actually arrows because his weapon is a bow, which is actually stored on his back right now. Now that I told you that, I'm pretty sure you can tell what the bow is. Anyways. So, he's standard stuff. Um, he uses this chest piece, chest plate piece, which I really love. And then he uses this piece, which is from Tahu 2015. And then this is from Protector of Fire 2015. And if we turn him around, we can see some more comp. Complicated. This guy's complicated stuff. This guy's super simple. So this is his bow, you can see. And then... Uh, let me remove the bow. So the bow, it literally just comes off. There's just a pin, so you can remove that. One thing I do like, this little area, it fits just so perfectly over here, and it's so snug. But it still shakes side to side, so it's not, I guess it's not really snug. So... As, as I told you, I was going to make a whole um, um, crazy custom upper limb. Didn't work out that way. Um, this is the best I could do. I just made the shoulder pads like this. It's a really simple build. 
once again, I, as I said before. So, let's... Honestly, his bow is more complicated than he is. Um, so, that's um, saying something. Um, so, this is his bow. So, as you could see, it was the flame part on his back earlier. So, to hold it... Let me show you how he holds it. So, first you just bring your, his hand out just so he can do that. And then the sack sole goes into his hand. Yeah, like that. And you can just adjust these however you want. If you want them super back, like super back, super far back, or like at a bit of an angle, which is like how I keep it. This part was a joke, by the way. Anyways, um, yeah, it looks about right. Um, and then once again, these pieces, as I showed, are arrows. So, if you want, you can take these pieces, um, off his arms. And you see this little piece at the end. This can go into here, which it doesn't look great because it should actually be like resting like over here. So it's way too far forward. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, like that. But it looks like it's some sort of it's supposed to be like some sort of bayonet for a bow. If that makes any sense. Um, that's him. He doesn't look that bad. Um, he doesn't really look bad without his bow on his back, which actually, I wasn't, he wasn't intended to have his bow function like that when he was storing it. It just worked out that way, and I didn't have any problem with it. So, let's move on to his creature. Okay, this is his creature. It's a bat, and I totally didn't make this setup just for the review. Uh, I did. Like, that's, you can tell just the way I made this. Um, I might do a tutorial on these guys, so... If I do, please let me know if uh, you want me to. I can't think what I'm going to say. Do a tutorial for this stand, too. But you could probably make a way better stand for this guy. Um, also, <laughs> backlog on the Transformers. That's just me being lazy. I actually have a Rampage. Transformers Rampage to film. Just that that filming went wrong so many times. I'm just lazy. So, yeah. Uh, mm, uh oh. That's not good. Okay. I have a little time to film. Yeah, okay. So, my other guy's gonna be in a separate video. Okay. So, here he is. Stand. I'm gonna remove him from his stand. Okay. Um, if I do make a tutorial on this, it's just gonna show you how you put him in a stand. So, this piece goes into the sack sole, but when you remove it, which I just did off camera because it's annoying. Um, the way I made this, it can just fall down, and so this guy just slides off. Ooh. Okay, so fully like whatever. <laughs> hey, I don't know. What I just said um fully like spread out because this is um this is him. His wings are okay. Um, just bare bones. Um, his feet are a bit too, his legs are a bit too bulky, but I really, um, I need to carry out, carry on that red color scheme throughout him. So, I didn't want to do that on the wings. So, yeah. And then, he uses this golden chest piece, and I told you he has an action gimmick feature thing. It's not very good, so first you need to position the rings. Before you comment on how stupid this action feature is, I want you to know that it's supposed to be like an attack, like he's slashing. Um, let's just get it over with. I swear, if you say that he's dabbing, I'm gonna... Ooh. Comment that does that's gonna get deleted. <laughs> uh, I can't do this on camera. Oh, God. Duh. Okay. There, so idea is that he's like slashing and it's like an attack. You know, I'm just gonna rip off his head. There, I decapitated him. That's not better. <laughs> 
There we go. Oh, this is so terrible. Um, so it's supposed to be like a slashing. It doesn't work at all. It's so simple. It's just three gears right here. Um, look. I can't do this sort of stuff. Let's just get off on, to the, on with the combination. For the combination, I didn't actually use the unity piece. It's just, I, I but I, it, I, they still combine. Okay, so this part swings around. You have to just, just it gets in the way a little bit. Just whatever. Okay, you swing that part around. Just leave it there for now. Um, same on this side. And then you can finally put these in place. Um, okay. Ah. And then you come over to the second guy. There he is. That. So, bird dude, um, he has these pieces. Go into this T-shaped technic beam thing. Like that. I'll do that off camera because it's annoying. Okay. So, this is them all combined. You can adjust the wings however you please. And you can see I had to bend his knees a lot just because he's having trouble standing. And once again, I was telling you about how much of a backpack he has. Uh, yeah. I would say that's a good four, three and a half, four inches. So, yeah, stability is an issue on this guy. Uh, that's why I needed those friction extenders. That's like the first time I've actually used those for the purposes of friction. <laughs> um, and that's honestly all I have to say. And here he is with his bow. And one thing, by the way, you can't store his bow on his back when he's combined. And one thing I realized was when I was putting his bow in his hand, I realized the handle of the bow was still in his hand. <laughs> um... Pity on my part. Um, that's basically all I have for this video, to be honest. It was fun to build. It took me about, like, one day. Um, that's all for today. Another video might be coming soon. This has been MetroGamer77's Apprentice. If you like my content, subscribe or you, and leave a like. And leave... <laughs> Okay, leave, if you like my content, leave a like and subscribe. If you don't, I don't care. This has been Metro Gamer 77's Apprentice, signing off.